Hey guys, Perturbal here, finally updating my Shield HUD tutorial. Let's get started. First, you're going to need a programming block, a timer, an LCD, and your shield generator. So you're going to go into your programming block, edit it, browse the workshop for code, and find my code, Shield HUD script. Alright, make sure you have the Energy Shields mod installed. Make sure you have my graphics pack installed. You only need the graphics pack if you want to use any of my actual graphic ones. The text display and bars and text, they don't actually require the graphics pack. So after that you're going to name one of your shield generators shield. Make sure you have these double dots in there. A lot of people have been forgetting them. So remember and exit. Find your shield generator. Name it shield. I'll rename it. So you're going to name it shield, put the double dots in, and boom, it'll instantly put this display up that'll show you how much shield hit points are actually remaining. If you don't have that, you didn't name it correctly. Go back to our programming block. Okay, name one of your LCDs shield LCD. This can actually be changed. So whatever you change this to is what you have to name it to. This one cannot be changed. So remember an exit. Let's name our LCD. Shield LCD, and we have a second LCD. So that'll that's how you display on multiple displays. You just name them the same thing, and it'll display on any display you have named Shield LCD on the entire grid. So we'll go back to our programming block. Now you get to select what Shield LCD mode we're going to use. Uh, the default is bars and text, which actually looks pretty nice, but I'm going to use arched because it's my favorite. Alright, so build the timer block and set the delay to one second, and then set up actions. Action 1 to run the program, and action 2 starts the timer over. So that's going to create a never-ending loop that updates it every second. So let's set up actions. So our first action is going to be to run the programming block. So we're going to run argument default. And our second action is going to be to start the timer. So it'll start it over. All right, now that we have those set up, make sure you bring it to one second. Uh, I prefer it to be silent and then trigger now. If you don't trigger now, it'll never start refreshing the shield script. So you can see your timer ticking away. Alright, so once you do that, click start. Um, these are for, these are like, they're for editing the other the other options like text you can edit you can change the distance to all the bars and the colors and all that so as you go down it's all all more advanced stuff you don't really need to mess with that remember an exit um you can just click run and your shield is now displaying on both of your lcds it's that easy So there you go. That's that. Um, if you guys have any questions, comments, ask. Add me as a friend. I don't mind being added as a friend. If you guys just need some help troubleshooting or especially if you find a conflicting mod. Um, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Contact me if you need anything else. Thanks guys.